What's the deal, man? It's boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support the boy. Help this channel grow. We put in work. All right. So today's video is going to be about the whole Monique interview. I see Shannon Sharp trying to strike lightning in a bottle twice. The one with Cat Williams interview, that's lightning in a bottle. Thing is, Cat Williams is one of those people who are just a gifted talent that we only see every blue moon that can do what Cat do. He made an interview very entertaining. Monique's interview is very entertaining as well. I like the fact where she name dropped a few people. But, you no, know, it's just a lot of things we've been talked about. But the entertainment level is nowhere near the cast. It's still entertaining to watch hers. You know, she's playing her character well. In my personal belief, I believe all the people in on it. They all brotherhood people. They all down with them. You know what I'm saying? And, Mo and some people want to ask me, Dwayne, did Monique get down? She's down. You don't get in that circle, queens of comedy, all that, unless you got down. They probably went to the party, just participated. They did something else. I'm pretty sure Pretty sure she put the strap on on and, and got one of those guys. I'm pretty sure she did. You know what I'm saying? That's alleged. It's alleged and maybe made up. But um, I'm sure she got down doing something. Nobody gets to that industry just don't know nobody, didn't do no favors, didn't scratch no backs. You don't, and then get those type of pushes. You only thing she probably would have, I don't know. I, I think she probably went around, especially for her to say she, the Parker's made two billion. I don't believe the. I can't say I, what I believe and what I don't believe. My personal opinion, I don't think the Parkers. Who knows? And people was watching the Parkers when I was a kid. I didn't care for the Parkers when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? I did like the fat Monique put on for the big black women. Because I remember when Monique was out, them big. Y'all, when I was growing up, women Monique size got a lot of men. Where I'm from, women Monique size really be running it. I have seen women Monique size die out. What I mean is the old big black heavy set black girl, they still exist, but that she had them women confident. I'm talking about confident. When Monique had her run, man, you couldn't tell the women nothing. Now, them women are still confident. It's just a difference now. It's not like how Monique was. Y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, me personally, my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion for what I've seen in my life from the data I collected with my eyes. She, nobody was checking for Monique when I was growing up. I never heard nobody say, ooh, that new Monique movie, or ooh, Monique funny. Or when I ask somebody their favorite comedian, she never comes. I can ask somebody their favorite female comedian, she won't come up. You know what I'm saying? I don't never remember nobody saying, ooh, the Parker's on, let's go watch the Parker's. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then another thing, they did want to exploit the big overweight black woman. Don't forget that. Like, they were like, ha ha, big black, you know what I'm saying? For real. I mean, you know what they did with Roseanne? Roseanne was a big white woman and Rosie O'Donnell. They did it with them. They did. There's a bunch of Rosie O'Donnell and Roseanne's out there, too. I'm glad Rosie O'Donnell's still getting money and working. She's still in Hollywood making movies. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to uh, Monique as well, still making money. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do like the part of her interview where she spoke about the industry, about Lee Daniels, and she calling out Tyler Perry heavy. Calling out Tyler Perry heavy. You know, these, these people have got. She's one of the ones who ain't afraid to get blackballed. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a few people out there who's, who's gotten blackballed, but they don't. Like Jaguar Wright, Orlando Browns, Monique's. They ain't going to get no jobs no time soon. They on Tubi forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. If, and then you got to think. I think, like I said, Monique down with them too, man. She probably just playing the games, turning the drama up. Like I said, this all stuff is distractions too, y'all. They're trying to keep y'all distracted. I'm, my advice to y'all. Only watch this. this. This my job, so I got to watch this stuff. So I, my advice to y'all to indulge in this stuff in your off day it has nothing to pertain to you. You should not be concerned about none of this stuff or care. This is all entertainment and fun and games. Their lives are not important. Nobody care about Tyler Perry blackballing you, Monique. Nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Now for the young ladies who are going through Hollywood, um, we that's the one reason because there might be some young actresses coming up. My, my advice to y'all is, man, we got to find a way to do away with Hollywood. And make our own way, like try to be independent, make our own show. We need to find a way to get away from them instead of trying to get into the industry. Because what she's basically saying is, let me make changes so the next young girls who are coming up will have a chance. It's never going to happen. Y'all black women can do all that complaining. It's never going to happen. They never going to pay y'all. Get over it. Either get out of the industry, take your money, or keep fighting. But they never going to pay y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't mean it's like... Oh, get over it. Take a little bit of crumbs. Nah, I keep fighting, but I'm letting y'all know this. This is just the ugly truth of it. 
they never gonna pay y'all exactly. Now, Monique did say in the interview that she settled. She settled for on a Netflix deal. But what I was getting at is they're never gonna pay a black woman to the level they pay a Tom Cruise. I don't want nobody watching what I just said be like, ah, oh, Dwayne, what you said was wrong. I get it. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, y'all fighting for it to get equal pay as they're never gonna pay you like how they pay the white girls either. Man, they never gonna do that, man. They, they say they too. Only way to, to compete that, to compete that, is put one of our own in those places and have them pay us. That's the only way to, to compete the to combat hype. Whatever I'm trying to say, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. That is the only way to beat that. Is have one of our own there. They, they're gonna always pay. I don't think Sarah, Sarah, I don't think Sarah Silverman is funny. I don't think Amy Schumer is funny. I don't think little Asian girl funny. I don't think none of the women. I, I never thought Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres was funny. Ellen DeGeneres show was terrible. You know, I don't think Monique funny for real like that. I, I watch a Monique special. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad she got an Oscar too. Shouts out to her getting the Oscar. You know what I'm saying? I know people say, oh, we got to do some of the worst roles to get Oscars. I mean, Jamie Foxx got one for Ray. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Um, What the heck did Will Smith get his for? I forgot. I forgot, man. They didn't want Will to get that Oscar for real. It's a it's a politic game. I just know they playing the game up there when the round Monique said. She talks about the game. I do like the fact that um uh she called out uh who was that about no she called about Tyler Perry's recording. I did notice Shannon Sharp didn't bring up that recording what Tyler Perry said on it. Shannon Sharp's a smart dude. Shannon Sharp was one of them boys, he wanted them, he wanted them guys. Shannon Sharp's one of them dudes that be doing that right there. He's one of them. He got pictures doing all that. He's one, he's one of them guys. He's in the game. And he is doing his job by get, stirring it up and keeping it interesting on the black side of it. But uh, I think what's going to happen is he's going to double up when Kevin Hart come back and Steve Harvey come back because we're going to want to see the responses. So he's building up. They probably got this stuff planned out for the next five years of what's going to happen. Everybody actors, y'all. They all play in movies. They all get scripts. So who knows, man? Ain't about I do want to see Steve Harvey reaction, man. He's a funny looking character, man. That big doofy mustache and teeth. He's a funny looking character, man. Funny, <laughs> funny character. I got my little Steve Harvey mustache. My mustache don't even get as thick. I'm trying to grow my facial hair out, but my this about thick as it's gonna get. This about thick as my facial hair gonna get. I got a stab right there, but I can't get no daggone the teeth. I can't I can't get the Steve Harvey look. Who want to get the Steve Harvey, man? Nobody wants that. But, um, yeah, man, Monique put put it down in the interview, man. Like I said, I don't think they're trying to copy that Cat Williams situation. Um, he down with them boys, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he down. I, I, here's another thing I, I learned, though. There are two houses. There's two houses. So there's a red and a blue one. Now, these people have been battling for the beginning of time. Uh, and there is a a rift going on a, a power struggle the blue's been in charge for the longest but red wants to get in charge but red and switch his characters up like red we used to be with blue that remember when we had bush in office bush was red think about the democrats bush was red the democrats are blue but see it got off course when the red put trump in, in place when they put that character in place which i go watch the illuminati board game to talk about that the character Go learn about uh, all types of. Go learn about the um, different blood. They, they predicted all this stuff with Trump, but see, it switched up when Trump got in. And there's a a, a backing that backs. Basically, what I'm saying is there's a, a equal power to the blue that switched up. Blue and red was getting along, and red d d diverted off. And now they got active players in the game on the red side that wants to expose the blue side to get the blue side out of power. Blue side is your Tyler Perry's. I saw I'm pretty sure Cat Williams on the red side, Monique on the red side, but they still down with them boys. Trump on the red. So anybody speaking out is on the red. Anybody trying to push propaganda is on the blue. Your Charlemagne the God's on the blue. Your um your Charlemagne the God's on the blue. Your e DJ Envy's on the blue. Your uh anybody trying to just keep up the uh your Ricky Smiley's, your Steve Harvey's, your DL Hughley's. You know what I'm saying? They 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 the blue guys. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your politicians like your, your Hillary's, your, your Obamas. They the blue. They ain't about who allowed them. They, they show y'all who, who, who the dynamic, who the enemy is with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like we celebrities right here in the middle. They they are mixed into the game. It's, it's a board game we watching. And we watching one side play the other. 
and they try to expose it to make it seem as if it's going to be, if they ever got in power, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to have to scratch their back and sometimes give up some chon chon. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's all I got to say about it, man. Let me know if I miss anything about it. I might do a part two. Oh, there's another part I want to part, touch on. Do y'all think they're going to blackball Shannon Sharp? I personally don't think they're going to blackball him. I think he's going to double up with the other people. He do, he do conduct himself well in these interviews, letting these people just talk and say that's just them. He made a lot of money, but I think his flow too hard right now to, to stop him. But they will end him. They can end anybody right now. What I mean they can end you is all it takes is one little white girl say I got assaulted. That's it. You're out of here. And then poor Jonathan Majors. They got my boy on Tubi. My boy career over. Two more women that came out spoke about Jonathan Majors. Two about abuse. All it takes is the allegations, bro. Even if you did that, he has allegations and a conviction. Nobody want to work with you because now you look like a woman beater. Somebody going to be like, ew, we ain't watching. I guarantee you somebody like the old, Mar the new Marvel movies, they, they probably return to me like, oh, he's he's evil to women. They going to eat that stuff up. So to get Shannon Sharp out of here, all it takes is that one situation to be claimed on him and he's gone. If he ever gets think he's too big, ever. And, and Monique lucky too. Monique Lucky too. They want to take her down as well. They want to take Cat Williams down. They gonna find a way. They gonna find a way. They got it. Prince too. When Prince was like, "Oh, it's Kim Trails." Oh, they said, "You gonna talk about Kim Trails? We got you. We got you." Then we, we we gonna get rid of your character now. If you wanna sign off, you can. But anyways, man, that's all I gotta say, man. It's the boy Dwayne McClain, Dwayne McClain TV. Let me know what I missed on there. Have questions in the comments for me. Give me some ideas to blog on. Like, come, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm out.